Hello viewers, you can join me here. It is currently 7.17 in the morning. Not gonna lie to you, didn't know there was a seven in the morning, um, but I guess we all figure out things eventually. It is also currently about, what, 42 degrees outside, so it's pretty cold. I'm so cold that I'm shivering. Um, and that's gonna be a little tricky. Um, you've seen in my last video, I was struggling with too much grip. So hopefully we can struggle with the right amount of grip. But that's enough chit chat. Let's get to the track. Hey guys, welcome back to Carding with Chris. Today's video is going to be the Fall 6 pre-final race. Now for today's video, we qualified in 16th out of 19 people, which frankly is probably my worst um, qualifying I have ever had. Today I was really off pace. I will say there are quite a bit of competitive people here today, but I would definitely have liked to have been near the front of the grid and even better, not 16th place. So like I said at the beginning of the video, it is a cold one today. Um, now in the morning it was about 40 degrees, but at the moment, while we're racing right now, it's mid 70s, so it is still fairly cold for Texas weather. Um, I know if you're watching this in other places, that's not very cold, but for Texas, that is kind of cold, and I kind of like colder conditions. Um, I usually end up doing a little better when the cart is a little more loose, but as you can see, today we are not doing better. So we're going through the chicane right here. We're about to grid up for the start of the race, and when you're starting near the back, you don't really have to worry too much about gaining or losing positions. Obviously, you want to gain positions. That's always the number one goal. But, you know, you don't have to worry as much. And sometimes, especially with a large group like this one, there's going to be carnage. And all you have to do is drive around it and you can get some positions. So we're going through the last couple of corners here. We have Ava directly in front of us. Um, she wasn't having the best qualifying session either, so um, we're going to try and follow her. Uh, we are starting on the outside, but that doesn't necessarily mean we'll lose positions. So the flag man is waving green. We're good to go. So right off the bat, we're going to try and look for the inside um, if it appears. And right here, I see an opening on the inside. I follow number something 46. I can't see the first number here. We pass Ava. We're going to try and hold her around the outside of turn three doesn't quite work we're gonna try to settle and then someone rams tries to ram us off a of track here give him a gesture oh! and then him and Ava get tangled up and now we are up into 15th place so gaining one position that is not too bad um, hopefully we can gain some more as we can see there is still a bit of fighting going on up ahead um, obviously like I said we are very slow on pace today but hopefully we can get in these drafts, pull along people. I told the person behind me, let's work together, let's not fight, you know, it's too early in the race. And I think he did agree with me. Um, so going through turn one here, uh, I think that was Landon. I uh, couldn't quite see what happened to him, but he was a little slow coming out of turn one. And so we're now up into 14th place. Our next target is number 12. So obviously, we want to move forward in this race. Every race, you want to move forward. And that's what we're going to try and do. Down the straights here, we didn't get the best of exits through the chicane, and so they kind of pulled away from us. And um, they are working together up there, um, so it's going to be hard to catch up to them. We do have Landon behind me. I know he's fast. He was fast during practice. Um, I don't remember where he qualified, but he is a very quick driver. So it's gonna be hard to stay in front of him. If he does end up trying to pass me, I won't fight it too hard. Obviously, if a uh, opening arrives, I'll take it. But since we're back here and it's pretty early in the race, I'm not gonna really push too hard or fight too hard. So we look behind us real quick and we see Landon. He gives us a little wave. Hello, Landon. And we did see this coming. He is the faster driver. And so, um, you know, I'm not going to fight it too much, especially since we're back here. You know, these positions 
I don't want to say aren't worth it, but um, they're really not worth fighting too hard for. So we're going to try and get in Landon's draft and try and catch up to the people in front. But as you can see, that has been a little harder than I thought, as he has already gapped us like crazy. Now, one thing I know is Landon definitely wants to go forward, as everyone else does. So once he catches up to those guys, um, him passing them will definitely slow them down. I mean, passing rarely makes you faster, but um, hopefully they continue to fight up ahead because we are slowly dropping back. We do have Hunter behind us. He's been behind us a good majority of this race, and um, I think we were about the same pace, so um, if we don't end up catching to the people in front, we will at least have a decent race with Hunter behind. Now we know Hunter is willing to work together with us. He pushed us down the straight a couple times, and that means he's probably not gonna pass us uh, until the later stages of the race, because he sees positions up ahead that are close enough that if we work together, we can catch up to them. As someone goes off into the grass here, that's gonna cause them to have dirty tires and very poor momentum. We're gonna dive on the inside of number 12 here through turn seven, and we're gonna get the position. We're up into 14th now, and going through turns eight and nine here we don't get challenged so we're just going to take it normally and then coming out of turns eight and nine here um, I tap my helmet saying let's work together he passes me and you can see how much more speed he has me going through turn one here so this was a bit of an indicator that my pace was much further off than I thought going through turn three here I could have looked for the outside but the outside of turn three is usually not the best place to pass. So at this point of the race, number 12's already pulling away from us, so I'm basically a sitting duck, you know, just people are passing me so easily, um, and it, it is kind of frustrating, but there's really nothing I can do except just keep pushing. Um, we're about to end lap six here. We're about to go into the second to last lap. I go defensive. I know Hunter's gonna go for the move on the second to last lap. So going in turn one, I go defensive. Um, he swings on the outside to get a better exit, dives on the inside of turn two here, really not much I can do. He has the inside, he gains the position, we're down to 16th, and hopefully we can try and pass him again. So coming out of turn three here, we're about a cart length behind him going through the chicane, and then we're not quite close enough to really capitalize on his draft. Near the end of the straight, we sort of catch up to him. We catch up to him in the braking zone, so if we try and pass him in the next lap, the braking zone might be a good position to pass, or a good place to pass, sorry. We're right on his bumper coming through turns eight and nine here. Um, looking for the move through turn one, he covers it off pretty nicely. Um, I could have gone for a really late lunge there, but this is for 15th position. Don't really want to be making stupid moves, especially for this position. Again, there's you know, positions are worth fighting for, some more than others. Uh, going through turn three here, we're still not quite close enough. Going through the chicane, we get a little closer, but he goes semi-defensive into turn seven. Still not quite close enough to get beside him, and we are running out of corners here. So we're about to go through turns eight and nine up here. Um, we can't really send it through these corners, so it's gonna have to be a straight-up drag race to the end, and I just don't have the motor to pull along beside him and we're gonna end up in 16th it's where we started so I guess it's not the worst place we didn't fall backwards but um, yeah I'm sorry if this race was just sounded like a bag of excuses but um, I was really lacking pace on this day and this was the best I could have done or maybe I was sandbagging it on purpose to get a better final race think about that for a quick second but I will say my final race was a lot more fun than this race. I won't spoil it because I don't do that, but that's all I'm going to have for today. If you liked the video, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, please comment below. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day.